Hello my friends, John LaRuffy here with another Unbiased Unboxing. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at the expansion for the Lost Ruins of Arnak. This is the Expedition Leaders. Let's see what's inside this old guy. All right, and as usual, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue to build my fan base. All right, so um, it shows you the contents, which is nice. At least it tells you what you get, which I like that. It can't really show the game in play because it is an expansion, so I get that. Um, but I'm happy with the way the back looks. And so let's see what it actually looks like when we jump into this thing. This was a good game. I really enjoyed it. I liked playing it with um, the different people that I did play it with. Solo was good. So the expansion adds um, a little more legs to it, which I think is good. I think that it needs that, um, to be honest. The base game, it's fun, but it gets samey after a little bit. So this is good news. So we've got one of these little meeples right here. A little plug for more of your other games by Check Games. Let's take a look first, I guess, at... Well, let's we'll start with the rule book here. I have not read these yet. Um, so we'll see what we have inside. All right, you have a lot of big pictures. Very spacious. So I'm going to guess this is going to be not so bad at all to understand similar to the rule book of the base game looks like you've got big examples they very much help you understand what you're doing there looks like new research tracks monkey temple lizard temple all right so it shouldn't be too bad and then we've got some um, some explanations of the new icons okay we have some player aids here, new icons and concepts. Good. Always appreciate the player aid. Uh oh, mine looks like it's got stuck together. Ah, uh, that's going to suck. Because it's probably going to tear. Let's see what we can do here. Ugh. What a bummer. All right. Well, it is what it is. Mine did get stuck together, so we did lose a little bit there and a little bit there. That is unfortunate, but what am I going to do? Hopefully these are, okay, so that's the Explorer, the Falconer. I can basically read what it's, what it ripped off. Hopefully not all these other ones got stuck. These look okay for the Mystic and the Captain and the Professor and the Baroness. What is nice, I do like the fact that they gave you um, one for each of the new roles, which is cool. That'll make it easy for people to jump in, get their card, know what they need to do, and understand the differences, and I like that. All right, so sad to see they got stuck together, but sometimes that's just what happens. All right, we got medium thickness on these boards here. So as you can see, we've got this guy here. I'm going to assume we're going to get one for each of the other ones, but here's a new temple track. Right there. On the back, here's the other one. Let's take these out. Whoop. Well, that's not going to be a, um, tough to punch out. Basically punched itself there. All right, so here we have that board. It's just literally leapt out of the thing. We've got this. These are some new challenge sites, so to speak, with new monsters and such on them. Yeah, this stuff is easy to punch. It's literally coming out while I am trying to carefully and gingerly pick them up. That doesn't look like that's going to happen. Uh, what is wrong here? Ugh. So that got, like, smashed and stuck together, but it's okay. It just smashed. Oh, jeez. All right, well... For whatever reason, it doesn't look like the, the components are damaged, but this got turned and smashed on me a little bit. That's okay, as long as it didn't get ruined. I think it was supposed to be one of these where, where they turn it over, they could fit in the box. Well, it didn't quite happen. Looks like it just bent. That's all right. As long as the components aren't damaged and it doesn't look like they are, this is no big deal. Okay, so we've got all those different boards here for the different people. They look nice. They don't look like they're going to warp. They're going to sit flat, I hope. There we are. Okay. 
Very good. Now let's take a look at the cards. I assume the card quality will be the same as the base game. I don't have the base game out here to compare it to, but let's hope there was no flubs on that one. Because there are some games out there that did uh, have a little bit of a rough time in recent months with getting the right card finish. And I'm not saying that's check games. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, it's a possibility. Oh, that's cool. So they do talk about their free campaign. I didn't notice that um, on the box. So they let you know where you can do the free campaign there uh, with the app, which is nice. So that'll be cool. I'll take a look at that. And then just some other stuff. So I missed that before, but that's cool. Okay, let's take a look at these cards. Yeah, the thickness and the feel um, is good. The texture, they're just slightly thin. I would probably sleeve them if I were you. A um, little bit on the thin side, I think. But the uh, texture is uh, basically smooth. And so here's what we got here. You can see some of the new stuff. So there's some mechanics there that are new. Okay, so you're definitely getting, I mean, because I don't remember seeing anything like this in the base game. So that's some new jazz right there. So that'll be interesting. Then we've got uh, new items and different things of that nature. So very cool. Looking forward to experiencing these. Yeah, definitely sleeve these bad boys. But that's about the size of it. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. Whatever you play in the future, I hope you have a fantastic time doing it. Take it easy and have a good evening.